All right, this is grade three, module four, lesson seven, and we are interpreting area models to form rectangular arrays. Uh, to explain what this means, I think it's easiest, let's just to just do a couple of sample problems, and that'll help you understand what that means. So here we are told to find the array, uh, find the area of each rectangular array and then label the side lengths of the matching area model and write a multiplication equation. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to start by counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, counting the area so we know that we have an area of 6 square units and that um, we can see that this side is 3 going from here to here and that this side is 2 going from here to here so that's why over here they labeled this 3 and 2 so 3 and 2 so the area the equation becomes 3 times 2 equals 6 and there is our multiplication equation that they were asking us about so let's do another one and uh, let's do it in green. So we've got one, two, oh, green doesn't show up very well. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have an area of ten square units. And now when it comes to over here, labeling our um, area model with the side lengths, what's this side length going to be? Over, you know, basically the same thing over here, it's going to be a 2. And what is this side length going to be right here? Well, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be 5. So our multiplication equation is going to be 2 times 5 equals 10. So in this problem, we are told that Jillian arranges square pattern blocks, arranges square pattern blocks into a 7 by 4 array. And we're supposed to draw Jillian's array on the grid below. Okay, and then it says how many square units are in Jillian's rectangular array. So the first thing we need to do is that 7 by 4 array. So over here we're going to draw 7 by 4. So this 7 uh, traditionally means um, the height. So let's do it down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now teachers, if uh, students do it the opposite way, don't get freaked out. It's not that important in this lesson. And then the 4 means it's going to be 4 going side to side. And to finish our array, this is what it's going to look like. So there is our 7 by 4 array. And the question is, well, how many square units are in this rectangular array? Well, the students can have a choice. They can either count the array, uh, count the individual squares, or they can use their multiplication. But I'm going to, oopsies, and I'm going to erase that little mistake there. And I am going to zoom in, and we're going to just do a quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here's our skip counting. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So we can see that the answer is how many square units are in... Whoa! How many square units are in Jillian's array, rectangular array? And the answer is... 28 square units. Now down here, question B, it says label the side lengths, and I kind of already did up here, didn't I? So we know that this one's 7 and this one's 4. And then it says, then write a multiplication sentence. So that multiplication sentence is going to be 7 times 4 equals 28. In the last slide for this video, we've got uh, Fiona. 
and Fiona draws a 24 square centimeter rectangle. Gregory draws a 24 square inch rectangle. So they have the same number of squares, don't they? But what's different is the label, the units. This is centimeters and this is inches. Whose rectangle is larger in area? Well, we know that a square centimeter, one square centimeter, is going to be pretty small. It's going to be a square that is about the width of your pinky. Like if I were to draw your pinky right here, here's, <laughs> that's just supposed to be your pinky. And the pinky is about the width of a square centimeter. So that's what that is. Now a square inch, one square inch, it's about two and a half centimeters to make an inch. So a, a square centimeter is going to be a little bit bigger than a square centimeter. So a square centimeter has one centimeter and one centimeter on each side, whereas a square inch is one inch and one inch on each side. So even though both Fiona and Gregory use 24 squares, Gregory's um, rectangle is going to be larger because it's got it's using the larger inches instead of the little smaller centimeters. And that is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 7, where we are interpreting area models to form rectangular arrays.